Hello, everybody. Today, I'm gonna talk about some of my tips on posing, based on my experience. And as I'm preparing this video, I go through my feed to summarize、uh, some of the points、uh, for posing a model. And in my ph- philosophy here, as you might notice,、uh, I like more natural pose, natural expression, and like moody, mostly moody. And based on different model,、uh, their own characteristic as well. So I, I was just、um, going through the feed. And trying to summarize couple points for you,、uh, just for reference. And by no means that、uh, this is the、uh, right way. This is just my way. This is my way of、um, that is my philosophy, like my way of、uh, posing the model. And hope it helps,、uh, just for reference. And you can you can. Give me some feedbacks.、Uh, what you like, as well. So, okay, let's get started. So here's my、uh, agenda for today, and the first point is communication. And communication, I divide it into two parts. The first one is getting to know the model,、um, and the second one is feedback. How do you provide constant feedback with the model, and、uh, Next one is observation. How how you can observe the model expression and what to do. And the next one is the sitting, the sitting pose. What what does it do?、Uh, how it helps. And the next one is the mood. As you might have seen, most of my feed contain mood moody expression and. I will tell you some tips on the mood,、uh, the tips for the mood, and the last one is the movement.、Uh, how movement can help the posing, and because I have a lot of hair flips picture, and I will tell you some of my tips on the hair flip as well. So let's get started. So my first one is to get into know the model. And before you do the shoot, especially the first shoot with the model, you didn't know each other before. The first thing you need to do is to get to know the model more. Like just do the casual chat with her or him.、Uh, that、um, how what do you like?、Uh, like getting to know the model more, more of the model's personality and. Just to give a feel for your photograph, because、um, your photograph will represent the model and your expression of the model. So once you get into more, more, the, more of the model, then you have more ideas.、Uh, what do you want to pose your model、uh, with? Like what kind of pose do you want with this personality? And and the advantage of First,、uh, getting to know model is to loosen up the vibes a little bit uh, because uh, the the more you、uh, talk, the more loose、uh, you become with the model each、uh, with each other. So、uh, that's the first thing you need to do, just to、uh, talk it, just do some small talk, and. If you loosen up, set it up for the later steps. So the next one on communication is the feedback. So for me, I do a lot of feedback、uh, with the model every time I shoot a set of photos, and then I show the model.、Uh, oh, this this poses are gonna be look like this under this location, and. This will give the feedback for two-way communication, like the model feedback to the photographer. Not only just the photographer just directing the pose. I want both、uh, direction feedback. I want to know what the model like because 
uh, the model itself know more about their body than me, especially the first time uh, they will know more about their uh, body, what what their body looks uh, best, what angle looks best. So the next one is observation. So observation means um, <clears throat> like I usually observe um, the model's movement and usually I when I see the nice pose I say oh can you hold it a little bit <clears throat> I say oh hold hold on hold can you hold this pose a little bit so I my general direction is to ask the model yeah you can just do freestyle maybe the freestyle the word you hear most when I'm doing the shoot because uh, I just let the model just naturally just posing like this one just against the wall kit Kate just like she she's uh, has a lot of experience already. So for the first time, uh, if if for the first time model, you can set couple things uh, up like oh against the wall or just uh, look at that way. But in the general framework, just let the model free style, and then once you observe the nice expression. Uh, you can say, oh, can you hold it a little bit? And can you do a slightly um, tilt it to the head, to the right side, just like that pose. Can you hold it and then slightly off to the right or chin up a little bit so the light will uh, be against the face. So the next one is uh, about sitting. Um, so sitting, the benefit of sitting pose is that um, it helps uh, release the ten intensity for the model because when they are sitting they are more natural uh, and also the sitting pose can help to space out your feet as well if you want to plan your feet nicely also sitting allows you to try out different angle and and different angle also helps uh, like the perspective uh, for the portrait and so sitting my sitting uh, posing tips is that uh, you, you can you can just uh, ask the model sit on certain um, like street sidewalks and also near the plants the plants create nice uh, background backdrop or alleyway sit I like to sit in the center of the alleyway like ask the model to sit in the center of the alleyway it creates a nice um, um, street mood in it as well and speaking of the mood uh, so how do I direct the model to be more moody <coughs> sorry my my point is that um, don't think about it as a photo shoot. Just um, ask the model or oh, uh, feel like feel the wind and feel uh, like thinking of something. And sometimes you can ask uh, move uh, both heads in the front, so it's more moody and. You don't have to be very messy here, but sometimes uh, both here in front and uh, both sides of here in front that will create some more moody and especially with the wind as well. And this goes to observation. Also, back to the previous point, I have to observe certain points. So for example, this Corinne's I was walking with her and at certain point I saw oh part of the hair cover the face that's very moody and I asked her oh can you hold that for me for a little bit and then that's got the moody shots and the next one the la and the last one is the movement so in the movement if uh, if the still couldn't work out or very intense in the first place when you do the first when you shoot in at the first time you can move with the model and use the observation uh, technique 
to uh, observe what's best angle with the model is this the right side so when you follow the model and sometimes you will see different perspective and sometimes the most beautiful angle I have seen is when I'm using the video to record the models uh, movement and of course uh, you have seen my hair flip picture you can ask the model uh, just move a little bit horizontally with your hair uh, flip horizontally or flipping vertically as well and this will loosen up the mood uh, as well so it is these are all points connected um, you can use movement to loosen up in order to get the mood as well so these two points with the previous the mood they are all interconnected also the last tip I want to talk about the hair flip is that um, how to focus so when I ask the model to do the hair flip I first uh, want to focus on the face and then ask the model to do a flip in the same place uh, because if the models uh, move a little bit that uh, her face will be out of focus that's how I capture this shot with Kate so I focus on her face, then she uh, do the hair flip uh, and then I use a continuous uh, shutter speed uh, from the Fujifilm X-T2 and then capture that uh, moment right there. So that concludes uh, today's section. Just to summarize uh, today's topic, so uh, we use communication as uh, the first step to pose a model and observation I talk a little bit about sitting and the move and the movement they are all interconnected to each other so this is my tips for the posing uh, today and uh, if I think about more tutorial I will come up with more video coming up next and since next week i have to get back to work full time and as many of you may have not known that um, i'm my full time is not photography i'm a full time software engineer in sacramento so uh starting from next week uh, my video frequency will be slower probably once or twice a week but thank you so much for watching this video it helps a lot to motivate me uh, recently since everybody got very quick uh, nice feedback on the videos and now you have more tutorial coming up thank you bye